What's going on? What's going on? What's up, people? How's it going? It's Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, and I am coming at you straight from the Wizard's Tower. How you guys doing out there? Let me make sure I can push the right button. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's the wrong one. All right. That's okay. I'm still coming in. I'm still coming in. Yeah, that's better. I'm always doing that thing. How you guys doing? This is Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, coming at you from the Wizard's Tower, and welcome to the dark side of the room. Man, today, I'm telling you, it is a thing. It is such, such, such a thing. And by a thing, I mean it is Tuesday, and we are in what some would consider the middle of a post-apocalyptic, um... Like, yeah, the, the, the middle of a post-apocalyptic situation. This is so surreal and so, so funny. But before I get to any of that stuff, I want to say, hey, welcome to all that stuff. I'm waiting for all of the um, programs and stuff that I have running here to really boot in and all that stuff so I can say hey to everyone. And I'm saying what's going on to our new viewers, what's going on to our older viewers, how are you guys doing out there? And I am so glad that you have chosen to show up with us and hang today because this is super awesome. Although it ain't like y'all had much of a choice. Everybody's stuck sitting in the house or freaking not going to work and all that stuff. So it's a anyway, um, we have a lot of stuff to talk about. We're going to talk about um, social distancing, especially given that one, I'm extroverted and I don't think I'm the only one out there. However, um, I this is not new for me and I want to help you guys kind of get through it as best as you can with what's the term I'm looking for. Um, oh yeah, some of my life experiences. Um, we're also going to be talking about um, panic because if y'all have gone to the grocery store regularly or at least recently, y'all have seen that there's a little bit of that out there. But we're going to be talking about satanic panic. All right, this was something that happened in the 80s and it's still going through, but it's all in the same stuff. It all comes from the same place. And hopefully we can find some ways to get through that jazz. I'm telling you that right now. And I've got a few solutions with you guys today. And one of the major solutions that I wanted to impart upon you guys, just dude, this thing is not loading. Um, one of the things I wanted to present with you guys is some of the stuff that I've been doing recently, um, which really comes down to stuff like video chats, and that stuff is awesome. Discord is an option, do not get me wrong, but I wanted to talk to you guys about video chats um, for specific reasoning. But before we get through that, if you guys are here and you wanna be part of the show, you wanna ask me a question, you want me to read the stuff out loud online, that is easy. All you got to do is pull up your little keyboard right next to you and look at me make the music go a little higher. And of course, type in back in the deck at gmail.com. It's B A C K I N T H E D E C K at gmail.com. Send me an email. I can read it on the air or I can just answer the question right out. I got my little email device sitting here right next to me so I can do that with a little bit of expedience. Of course, you could always say something in the chat as well, but if you don't want to, I understand. A lot of people don't have their own Twitch accounts and all that jazz. Um, also, hit us up on the social medias, the Instagrams and the Twitter at the various Instagram.com or Twitter.com slash B-A-C-K-I-N-T-H-E-D-E-C-K. That's Instagram.com slash back in the deck and Twitter.com slash back in the deck. And of course, if you are part of that wretched hive of scum and villainy known as Facebook, you can you can join deckers on the book which is our facebook group that well the deckers talk to each other and all that stuff in dealing with a lot of the stuff that we um 
talk about stuff that we've been making, the games that we've been playing, all of that jazz. Uh, having a little bit of a problem here with my Twitch, but that's okay. We'll, um, we'll see how that goes. Now, for those of you guys that are out there, hi. And I want to let you guys know that we appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving us. And it has been awesome um if you guys want to know how to get in on that little cake that's easy just after you send off your email or before or whenever you're by your keyboard just head over to patreon.com slash bid underscore p that's big p because we're so original and sign up to be a decker if you think that we are cooler than a pack of cupcakes a month sign up at the one dollar level i mean seriously it really helps us keep the lights on a lot of people like to use soft language like thanks i love your support and it really helps us out no it helps us pay these bills that's what we got to do we pay a couple of hundred bucks a month in internet and for other services that we use to provide things. Um, and of course, if you really want to help us out and get cool stuff from it, because, you know, let's face it, helping us stay on the air is awesome. But most people want stuff like keychains and dice rollers and things like that. Just head on up to a higher tier like our queen, Shannon Boom Boom Lay, our king, his majesty, Paul D. Mansfield, and our ace in the hole, Jennifer Crow. So um, I want to give a super big major shout out to the person who provided the music for today's episode and that's Taz. Taz is one of the dudes that I hooked up with him on on Facebook and he is a great musician. He is a lot, a lot, a lot like um um who is the guy I'm thinking of. He's a lot like Kevin McCullough um with Incompetech and um yeah, this dude makes so many new, um, he makes so many beats and, um, he has reasonable rates. He has free stuff out there and I am super grateful, um, to Taz. His name is Taz Tim Jetter. Um, look him up. Let me pull up his picture right here. And it looks like, uh, yeah, I'm getting some messages here from the chat. Um, yeah, I'm getting some messages here from the chat that people are having loading problems. And yeah, I'm having that on my end too. Um, hang on. So, yeah, um, so let's see here, but that's okay because. The show must go on. Inside, my heart is breaking. My makeup may be flaking, but my smile still stays on. But anyway, um, yeah, this is uh, Taz Jetter, and this is the dude that is doing this dope beat in the background for this show, and I really appreciate um, the help that you've given us with that. Now, I only give myself, um, I only give myself an hour for this show, but it looks like Twitch is having a couple of issues. Um, so, <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah, let me let me just show you guys some of this stuff that's going on on that end. Uh, our guys over in the chat, as you can see, it's just loading the page. And it's like, have you tried kicking the computer? If so, try to kick it harder next time. And where exactly do you think you kick the cloud? I've been looking for a while. So have I. So have I. Let's see. But I want to give a super shout out to MP City. Thank you guys for showing up. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Serious. There might be server issues. I've got people going, hey, I want to go into the show, but it's not connecting. I'm like, ah, great. It's a thing. So what I will do is at the end of the show, I'll upload it and give people, you know, I'll, I'll make this one of the free shows because um, we're talking about social distancing and isolation today. Um, <laughs> yeah. So sending off a quick message real quick, doing some email stuff. It's like, manage your thing, manage your thing. And it's like, all right, cool. 
So now that I've got all that in, I wanted to talk today. I actually have my notes with the different parts. So, uh, oh, that was my notes. All right. All right. So I wanted to talk today um, about social media because if you guys don't know, way way back in the 1980s, way way back in the late 70s and early 80s. Good old Jimmy Swaggy. Jimmy Swaggy. Jimmy Swaggy. So, Jimmy Swaggy. Jimmy Swaggy. Jimmy Swaggy. Jimmy Media Stuff of Satan. Video games are the stuff of Satan. And, oh, don't get them wrong with the Dungeons and the Dragons. And a lot of people are like, you know, um, that was a long time ago. And I'm like, dude, I can remember 15 years ago. I was talking with a priest. This was when I was running a nominee regularly. And it's still real. And I brought up a nominee with him specifically. Um, yeah, specifically. Man, Twitch is having so many problems. Um, yeah, I brought it up with him specifically because um it was a game that was a role-playing game that was based on a role-playing game that was written by a French monk in a monastery. Okay, just think about that for a minute, all right? And of course, with them, they're like, oh no, the powers of Satan can even reach into the church. And I'm like, oh, really? Just, just okay, fine. Um, but here in the 80s and a lot of places, especially in the Latino, and the black communities, at least in LA, I don't know what it's like nationwide, um, there still is a major piece of satanic panic about um, tabletop RPGs and a lot of video games. And this priest that I was talking to, or this pastor way back then, was even talking about the Harry Potters, just anything involving imagination, magic, and all that stuff, that was just the stuff of the devil, just straight up devil. If you roll dice, then it's the same as gambling away all of your possessions and making sure your family dies. And um, it even got so bad to back in the 90s, um, my grandmother had visited from the Pacific Northwest. There the island is Catholic, um, and I say Catholic because um, she still approached Catholicism in the evangelical kind of way, all right, and um. That being the case, it was, and when I say evangelical, I mean like Southern snake handler, tent, prosperity gospel type people. And of course, oh no, this guy is of the devil. It wasn't like she was going to a church and lighting a candle for me. <laughs> it was a lot more like she was going, no, he going to be possessed by the demon in, in, in Jesus name. I rebuke you kind of thing. And um, that was hilarious to me. It really was. Um, I'm not saying I wasn't possessed by a demon. Just not at that time. You know, it was a different thing. And, um, but the thing is, she was in such the throes of panic about her dogma and her way 
of, um, yeah, her way of looking at things. She couldn't see the truth that was in front of her, which was, I wasn't possessed by a demon. I was just a teenager. <laughs> um. politics i'm not going to talk a whole lot of social events all right just bear with me um for a hot minute all right um primarily because um we can't stick our heads in the sand with what's going on okay and what's going on right now is that businesses are closing jobs to interact with each other, okay? And that's the problem. There's restlessness all over the place, all over the place. And um, I'm an extrovert. <laughs> I like being around people. And when I say that, when I say I like being around people, that doesn't mean I don't like parties. I like having company. I like having that kind of thing. You say, well, you see, I'm not really into that. That's the way I am.
even some of you guys out there, some of you Deckers, um, I think it was Geeks Meow or somebody that was talking about how they normally have a very long drive to work and it was pretty quick because the streets are empty. The streets are empty. The restaurants are empty. Stores are closing and it is bizarre. Okay. It is very bizarre for some. Okay. I'm not saying it's not bizarre for me. Okay. Because I didn't think that this would happen again, but it's been 18 years and I tend to observe that um, history works in cycles. Okay. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about um, the riots from back then because um, it was the same. Now, what I got here is um, this picture that I have over here is a little surreal. This is Hope Street in downtown LA. Now, downtown is, um, is a fascinating place because it's a major metropolitan city. And that being said, there is always activity. You know, New Yorkers were freaking out about this. Chicago people were freaking out about this. And I don't know what's up um, with Detroit. <laughs> I don't know what's up in Detroit, but I will tell you. Um, you know, I bet they have they have major city areas, you know, like Atlanta and Dallas and Houston and San Francisco and Seattle and all that jazz. And to see the streets empty okay one or two walkers but places that are normally filled with traffic um being deserted a lot of people are talking about post-apocalyptic right um things like the movie outbreak and all these things where humanity has crumbled and now it is us where are my guns um i can make fun of it because i've been through this before but a lot of people are genuinely freaked out. Um, you know, there's a whole lot of things. I mean, on one hand, you got white male rage. On another hand, you've got um, black people going, oh man, not again. On another thing, on another thing, you got, you know, in my opinion, the biggest thing, which are a bunch of underemployed people that don't have medical insurance afraid to get sick. Okay, so everything is coming on lockdown and that is causing a bunch of irrational behavior. Okay, so um, just like Satanic Panic in the 80s, um, it's one of the things that, l let me put this out there right now, just to make sure I'm not at it at, okay? Yeah, too late. Um, panic is what happens when you have repressed fear that finally comes to a head. Just like rage and outrage are thing it's what happens when you have anger that is repressed and finally comes to a head you know all of that pressure of pushing this down pushing this fear down pushing that fear down how am i gonna pay for medicine for my kids how am i gonna um get braces i have college loan debt how how can i get medical insurance uh just thing on top of thing and on this lovely place that we call the internet, um, there ain't a whole lot of obvious support because we got people saying, well, you took out the loan, just pay it back. And it's like, okay, Boomer, just take a look. Take a look at the economy. Yeah, I'm saying, okay, Boomer, and I'm Generation X. What? Um, you know, so there's a whole lot of suppression, um, self-suppression and other, other suppression that comes down. And when something big like this happens, like, you know, a global pandemic outbreak. I'm looking at this in a fascinating way because in truth, we have our first global condition with three generations of people that have instantaneous contact with anyone on the planet. Wow. <laughs> there should be books about that. <laughs> there really are. It's like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, we had a global catastrophe and everybody could talk to each other about it. 
um, from the people at ground zero to the people that won't be affected for another couple of months. You see what I mean? So we, we can see the freaking out and it looks like the freaking out is happening everywhere. Okay. Um, so it's a matter of managing the magical power of communication that we have right now. So that's a tough one. Um, but when I was growing up, as I said, um, you know, um, after the riots, and this is a big one here, um, this was, this is the grocery store that's down the street from my mom's house. At least it was back then. It's kind of a glorified 99 cent store and it doesn't sell much food now, but, um, yeah, as you can see, I mean, there busted windows, there was rioters, there were looters. I mean, this, this was what I lived through. And afterwards, when the laws got changed, the curfews got put down, um, here's a shot of the 110 freeway, or freeway 110, or 110, depending on where you are in the country, um, in downtown Los Angeles in the afternoon. Okay, look at that. That is the perfect place to take your camera and film some pickup shots. I mean, it was barren. It was desolate. All right. So what do we do in the meantime? We're social distancing. We're locked down. There are curfews. We have something now that we didn't have in 1992. And that's the internet. What's up, guys? Hey, what's going on? Whoop, 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 whoop. And first, fortunately, um, currently, the um, the internet as it stands right now it's going through the first pandemic itself, so it's looking at servers being overloaded, which is why you're probably watching this on YouTube now. So things are fascinating. But what I wanted to talk about is how do we use the internet um, to curb this? <laughs> okay, that is the big thing. How do we curb it? Um, simple, really simple. You know, it's super easy. Um, we have the internet. We have instantaneous communication. Um, I have been running a lot of games. Um, well, I've been running two, I'm in one, and I haven't been able to, um, play any board games, but I have been running RPGs and playing in RPGs. I got my dice, and I got my hard dice. Yeah, th these things are actually, uh, yeah, th these, this magical bag right here yeah these things are brass i mean that's what they sound like when they fall and um essentially um i've been in video conferencing and that is one thing that the internet has in spades we've got so many good programs out there to get a hold of each other and with this we can do a lot of stuff we can do a lot of stuff i've been running Esper Genesis, which is the RPG that I've been running and talking to you guys about. Just check the archives, you'll see. Um, and another friend of mine was running a D&D game. And um, I've been talking with people about all of these things. It's almost if you and a friend have a board game, like the same board game, you guys can even play that way. Um, and that gives us our pseudo face-to-face -face contact. I was in a two hour, I was in a couple of one hour long conversations with video chat just earlier today to, I, I'm, I'm kind of planning a show with someone and I'll keep you guys posted, but this one, y'all gonna want to watch this one. Actually, y'all gonna need to watch this one. I'm trying to make it so you want to. Um, but yeah. With things like Discord, which is mostly audio, um, I run my stuff over Zoom, but uh, that's a paid service because, you know, if you have the free one with Zoom, you only got 40 minutes. So if you're running a tabletop RPG or playing in a tabletop RPG, uh, that could take a few hours, you know, but it's like $14 a month and I use it for all the stuff I do with business. So if you know somebody that has a paid account, or you're willing to, you know, pay 30 or 40 bucks, at least for the time of this, of this social distancing that we've been doing, um, it, it's, it's very much worthwhile. And it's very interesting from my point of view because I use a lot of PDFs. 
Okay, I buy so many PDFs with your guys' Patreon money so that I can review and learn to play and teach and take them to the community centers and all that jazz. So, being an extrovert, I don't just crave, I almost physically require um, presence. I, I almost physically require company. So, being able to video conference has been great. It really has. Because, um... One, you know, everybody can type stuff, but let's face it, check the comment section of anything. And as long as people can type and you can't see their faces and hear their voice simultaneously, they show the worst parts of themselves. Um, but with the um, with the video chatting, it is one step closer to being face to face with someone. And um, that's a big thing. That is a really big thing. And a lot of the complications that we have introvert or extrovert in the modern age is that we are lonely okay we have been looking for connection we say connection and i've been to a lot of places i've talked to a lot of people and folks do want to connect they're just afraid because they don't have the practice you know um i went to i, I was at burning man one year and someone was just praying for a connection they wanted deep stuff and i'm like hey you know let's talk but they didn't have the connection that they wanted in the way that they wanted as quickly as they wanted and then they ran away crying honestly i think they were on drugs but hey it's a thing but underneath all that we're all looking for real connection you know um i get that from being at a gaming table being around friends talking about things and laughing out loud and I don't think I'm alone in that. I really don't think I'm alone. I, I really don't think I'm alone in that. So, um, fortunately, that wretched hive of scum and villainy known as Facebook allows us to um, do video chatting and talk with people. But there's a load of them out there. I mean, there's Google Hangouts, Zoom, Skype, WhatsApp. <laughs> um, and that's just off the top of my head. And I didn't really feel like doing any research to figure out the other stuff. Um, yeah, this is, you know, because right now, um, our streets are going a little bit closer to that. I get it. I totally understand. And with people, um, with people being in their homes, working from home, not really going out, hoping that Amazon doesn't run out of supplies, I can get where that stuff can get a little stressful, get a little weird. Sometimes you need to talk to people, you know, sometimes you need to play a game. And I'm with it. I'm 100% with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys a few tips based on what I've been doing. Okay. Um, I've got, you know, again, having been through the riots, they cut our power. They, I, I know, right? Cut the power. Yeah. Make sure that we can't have, you know, make sure that we can't store food. Isn't that fun? But there was no electricity. Um, there were curfews. There were even, um, there were even armed guards on the street okay that's and um it was oh my god that was bad oh uh, yeah no it was pretty surreal um but it wasn't the new normal and i don't think it's the new normal yet if it is that's another show for another time but um but the things that we did we played board games we talked um and I'm not one of those far right wing Republicans that does apocalypse prep with all the and I'm I'm not hoarding toilet paper. And as far as water goes, hey, I know how to build a still. Google it, and um, I'm good on that. Uh, I'm I'm good on that whole thing. But what I'm talking about is some of the stuff that I've been doing lately to just keep in contact with people. You know, now is the time to reach out more with your phones. Uh, you know, send more text messages, set up video conferencing, just talk with people. Because sometimes people need, as I'm talking to you right now, people need to feel like they are seen. And the way that we tend to do that is eye contact and real conversation. You know, just somebody to reach out and say, hey, I see you. I, I, I see you. I'm here. You're not isolated. The world has not turned into the walking dead. Um, 
And when you're running games online, when you're running games and having conversations and stuff like that online via any of these video messaging or video um, video chat sites, there's a lot that you can pull off. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. And, um, you know, um, it really helps because um, it really helps with learning how to describe what's going on if you use um, theater of the mind because trust me setting up more cameras to do miniatures way harder than it needs to be if you're doing it over video um for some of you guys out there that might have the budget dude now is the time for vr i'm telling you the vr stuff super awesome super fun um but this is just regular stuff so i'm talking to the people like me okay i'm talking to the disenfranchised out there that may only have a smartphone um and let's face it i mean people give these things away so um you can do direct messaging through any of your social media apps um you got video chat with instagram and facebook and i think you might be able to do it with twitter but i'm not quite sure and um, there's a bunch of free apps and stuff that you can download again zoom is one of my preferred ones but i you know it's 15 bucks a month and that's um that's for unlimited talking with unlimited people so i can still host my games or i can host the game session that my friends run for up to 15 players and it's still you know it still becomes a thing and even if you don't even if that's not your bag you can pretend to and that does um remove some of the edge and i i can let you know that that really becomes a thing um because right now social distancing is kind of big <laughs> you know um social distancing is a really big thing that we got to do and a lot of people are like well i don't like people anyway and blah 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 and blah 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 but i can tell you having been isolated from society it has its effect okay um we are social creatures okay and right now we can't even high five we can't fist bump we gotta do elbow 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 or freaking let's face it um i'm having fun looking at people and giving the nod or a wakanda forever <laughs> um but that's gonna get old real quick you know so since we're in a place that says stay away from each other and this is for you introverts out there i know for now it's like well i'm cool with that that's fine but that can get lonely stay away from each other don't touch don't cough don't breathe you know um I think Eddie Izzard said, um, oh my God, there's no smoking in bars. Now we're social distance and pretty soon there'll be no drinking and no talking, you know, just reading. That's all, just books. And again, that's good for a little while, especially if you need to recover. It's just everything is terrible in excess. So even if you are introverted, um, after you're done enjoying this stuff, you know, keep an eye on yourself and reach out um someone uh, a friend of mine reached out through facebook um this morning and excuse me they straight up just asked so how are the extroverts doing i'm like poorly <laughs> we are doing poorly <laughs> talk to me and if you really want to know what it's like um talk to anybody who has a security job especially if they work like a parking lot or if they work after dark okay any anybody that's a security guard after dark or has to work has to walk around a large space they pretty much do it by themselves and once you start talking with them get comfortable it's going to take a while because we are social creatures at our core all right so yeah that's um a lot of the stuff that i wanted to talk with you guys about because um i'm telling you seriously um back in 92 i didn't have a way to play DD with people except over the phone okay um but that was difficult during the riots and during our time on essentially socioeconomic isolation because i know this is hard for you to think about in this day and age because technology has come so far but 
back in, I think it was until cell phones became the norm. If someone lived more than six miles away, it became very expensive to call them. And we're talking like um, almost a nickel per minute on the phone. Okay. And just to give you a little bit of, um, yeah, it, it's just to give you a little bit of um, context. Imagine 30 cents per text message or 30 cents per direct message via social networking. Just, just imagine how much that will cost you. Okay. Every single comment that you left on a YouTube show, 30 cents. Every single, um, every single direct message that you talk to, 30 cents. Every tweet, 30 cents. Unless they lived so close that you could ride your bicycle over there in 10 minutes. You, you see what I mean? Um, so yeah, again, this, this isolation thing, this is not new to me. And all I wanted to do today was to give you guys a little bit, just a few of the tools that I use when I get through this kind of isolation, um, such as, oh, hey, the chat attacks here. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks, Diaz. Um, yeah, some of these tools, um, since we have this glorious internet thing, or as Captain America says, internet, so helpful. Um, Use things like your video messaging services. Okay, that, that's the thing. Um, if you still want to run a game, okay, if you want to run a game, but you're concerned, because there are a lot of gamers, especially the older gamers like myself, that might be immunocompromised and stuff like that. Um, mostly everyone has a webcam. Mostly. And when I say mostly, um, <clears throat> There aren't very many people, at least in the developed world, that does not have a smartphone, okay? So you can do a video call, you can set up a video conference, um, and again, you can use things like Google Hangouts or Facebook Messenger, just create a Facebook group and do a Messenger um, video call and everybody can be in. Um, I use Zoom, Skype has those options, WhatsApp has those options, and you can still run your games. You can run your games. Um, I mean, think about it like this, all right? Think about it like this. Um, um, it's almost like, what's the term? Um, well, way back in the days before the internet, people used to play chess by mail, huh? <laughs> you know, and now we've got fantastic, um, hang on real quick. Uh-huh. Wait, is that okay, cool. Thanks. Double to uh chat attack, yeah. Um Twitch is tripping. Alright. Um Yeah, as I was saying, um you know, people used to play chess by mail. They used to play checkers. They would literally, a uh, person would send in um, a letter. Hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. By the way, um, queen to bishop four. And then the person would write it back and put it in the mailbox and do all that stuff. I mean, we find ways to communicate with each other. Um, so if, just, just if, um, folks want to keep playing their D&D games or whatever tabletop RPG you're running, um, it is totally possible with video conferencing, even during social distancing. You could also do the same with your board games. It's just a matter of taking whatever camera you got going, okay, it's your turn, Mike. Okay, you're gonna go here, let me roll for you, and I'm gonna move your figures. Okay, good. You know, it's a little bit more trying. And I realize, I completely realize that this seems like a lot of work and it's a lot easier to just sit up and watch YouTube videos all day. Thank you. Um, but what I will say as well is, um, is none of the stuff I'm doing are orders. None of the stuff I'm, I'm, I'm not telling you go out and do it now or you're a bad person. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not saying that, but 
What I am saying is that there are ways to continue your hobbies under the circumstances that you don't have control over, you know? And that that's a real big thing. That, that's a really big thing. Um, so yeah, but it's time I pump the music back up just a little bit because, huh, I'm gonna end the show a little early today because I went over yesterday and it looks like I gotta get on the phone with Twitch right now because um, you guys are watching this on YouTube and I appreciate that. But I live stream this on um, Tuesday and yeah, this was being a little bit of weird. Um, I would live stream on YouTube a little bit more often. It's just I'm trying to figure out where I can have an audience that um, my my webmaster and my administrators can kind of wrangle in because we try and keep everything kind here. You know what I mean? Um, which means trolls and stuff. The deckers need to be able to jump on the people that are just like, you ain't nothing but this and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just going to make you mad because I'm an angry person that lives by myself. Blah, blah, blah. You know? Um, yeah. Uh, we're not down with trolls. We're not down with gatekeepers. And um, so, you know, and let's face it, we're a little concerned about being infiltrated by people that would see us harm. So Twitch has been a really good, really good um, platform for that. And YouTube is getting better. YouTube is getting better. So um, but with that, um, I want to thank you guys for showing up. Super big thanks to Taz for the music. Um, again, I'm loving this. I'm probably going to hit him up um, for some other beats sometime soon. But if you want to join the show, um, well, go ahead. Feel free to leave a comment down there since this is on YouTube. And yeah, for my patrons out there, I'm putting this one up for free because of the whole Twitch thing and all that jazz, especially in the face of, um, especially in the face of what's been going on um, with this whole COVID-19 thing. But if you guys have any questions or you want to contact us or, you know, even strike up a dialogue. If you're on Facebook, head over to Deckers on the Book. Um, it is a Facebook group. Just request to join and then, you know, um, we'll let you in and we'll talk and all that jazz. And pull up your keyboard and type and open up your email. Type in back in the deck at gmail.com. It's B-A-C-K-I-N-T-H-E-D-E-C-K at gmail.com. Um, follow us on Instagram. Um, Show us the stuff that you work on. Show us your art, um, your sculptures. Ask us your questions. Show us the games that you've been playing. Um, ask us questions about tabletop role-playing games or um, board games or like, you know, books and other geek stuff that aren't video games because we don't have the money or the time to invest in it. We're making shows for you guys. Also, um, yeah, you can do the same on, tw on Twitter or Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Again, uh, Twitch, Maria. But uh, yeah, um, hit us up the social medias, Instagram. Um, head on over to Patreon. Become become an official decker for a buck. You know, if you think that what we do is as valuable or even more valuable than a packet of cupcakes per month hit us up all right i spend more in coffee um okay i spend more in coffee than a lot of people spend on their mortgage but that's a different subject but yeah just head on over to all of these things and thank you guys for joining us i want to say a great big shout out and thank you um this has been an interesting and fun show and by that i mean if you check it out here, the Twitch is still going, but the chat over in NP City, you guys are still keeping it going. So thank you guys for all that. And again, um, if anybody tells you that you can't like what you like or have the hobbies you like because of the circumstances of your birth, be it race, religion, creed, gender identity, sexual orientation, your disability, or your budget, you just tell them that we said to take them cards and put them back in the deck. This is Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, saying we will catch you guys later, and thank you for joining us on the dark side of the room.